Hello! This podcast is powered by Sunday Cool. Tease! Watch this ad. It's one word, Andrew. What is it? It's one word per person. Do, do it one more time. Hello! Hi! Hey! <laughs> I, I don't know how it starts. Hello! This podcast is brought to you by and it's powered by Sunday. Cool. Jeez. Watch this ad. Landless. <laughs> and? And go to. No, just <laughs> listen. And listen. First try. Wow. Good job, guys. <laughs> hey, guys. Thanks for um, watching uh, this ad. Listen, hey, we want to let you know that it's our busy season, okay? We know that it's our busy season because it's your busy season. It's summer. Kids are out of school. You guys are going to camps, mission trips, all types of things. But guess what? You need t-shirts. You need hats. You need stickers. And where else can you get customizable templates than sundaycool.com? There's nothing better. Look up here. Look at me. Make eye contact. Thank you. Listen, if you go to sundaycool.com, we have hundreds of customizable templates for you, for your group, for your organization. There's nothing better than this, all right? We offer 72-hour turnaround after art approval. We get it to you fast. It's going to be nice. It's going to be soft. It's going to be remarkable, won't it be? Yes. So what are you waiting for? Go to sundaycool.com. Start your order today. We love you. Yes. I love me some hot Cheetos. I... Ate hot Cheetos for the first time in my life last week. What? Are yep. you serious? Yeah. Never? Don't act like that's not a big, that's a big thing. It's not that big of a thing. He eats it the is. jalapeno Cheetos. That's crazy. Like yeah, jalapeno. those are good. Those are hot really Cheetos. good. Hot Should Cheetos try? are bomb, dude. They're too spicy. I tell you the time that Kelsey blew on the hot Cheeto because it was too hot. <laughs> yeah. Just instinctively. Just <laughs> <laughs> Paige won't eat them. She said at her school growing up, there was always kids with like really long nails. And they would lick their fingers like tongue under the nail. Yeah, that'll, yeah. that'll ruin, ruin it for you. Yep. <laughs> that'll do <be> it. <laughs> <laughs> so got, what what are you talking your, about? You got your pad? My pad? Sitting on. Uh, we were talking about shrinking. <laughs> your, your booster seat, he was saying. Booster Shut seat. <laughs> up. I didn't say booster seat. She said it. We were talking about shrinking the show. I finished okay, it. Okay, I just want to clarify Did you like this. It? No, stop. Stop. This table is off kilter. <laughs> Then buy, then buy us a new one. Build us a new one. Give you said you were going to build Give me some that rolls. Give me some that rolls. Here, this. Watch. Watch. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Watch. Watch. Ready? Your end is like four inches shorter than mine. Look at that. Look at that. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> See? See how... It... All right. So it's you like proved your point. It's like You this. proved your point. Yeah. You're still on a booster seat. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Change the fact. It doesn't explain the fact that your feet aren't touching the ground. They're touching the ground, you <laughs> jerks. <laughs> All of you are jerks. I'm done with this podcast. I don't, I don't want to film it. No, don't, don't do that. Okay, no. no, stop. Hey, Josh, we have a lot of fun stuff to talk about today. Really? Yeah, and I heard Lily, his question is out of this world. Oh. <laughs> Her tone just... it. it just showed me that she did not come up. Oh, I did. I did. Oh, you oh, did? Yes. Yeah, my question is out of this world. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, what were you we talking about, though, before? Shrinking. The uh, the show. Oh, yeah, yeah. Andy goes. Well, we finished it. He said, it was good. That's all he did. It's, it's a good, good show. It but I'm not like, I'm like, one of those things I'm not going to watch like five years from now, like, oh, I got to watch Shrinking again. Like, it's yeah. not a rewatchable show. Yeah. I loved it. I thought it was so feel good. It's inappropriate, it's, though. Very inappropriate. Don't watch it, audience. <laughs> Very oh, inappropriate. The, the language. Yeah. The intro song is great. Yeah. And I realized it was death. I was like, this sounds like Death Cap for Cutie, yep. one of my favorite bands. And it was just, uh, it's him by himself with another person. Yeah. yeah. The front man. Yeah. What so a fun cool. fact. I didn't know you liked Death Cap for oh, Cutie. Man. How Twilight of you. Plans. Oh, no. I, that, that, I watched before that all came out, okay? But the, the, the album, their album Plans is mm. probably the first album I ever listened to front to finish. I'm like, this is. I loved every song. Mm. Every beat of every song was so good. Are you a Manchester orchestra? I, 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 I like certain songs. I, I haven't dove into, but um, mm. I Can Feel a Hot One. That song is mm. one of my favorite songs of all time. Andrew, are you a Cope or are you a Hope fan? He doesn't know either of those. Oh, it's, I thought he liked Manchester Orchestra. 
you, you like the early stuff, or oh. you've listened to the early stuff. What is Cope and Hope? Is that an album? <laughs> Cope? Cope is the um like the his like. Nah, 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 oh, nah. got it. And then Hope is the same album, but an acoustic. Ooh, I'm a yeah. Hope. I'll have to check yeah. that out. It's Instead really cool. Cope. Rock on, rock on, fellers. I need Ooh. to get in the. He's head got space. a guitar over there. Look at that. Uh, <laughs> I didn't oh. even know. I didn't even know Andrew knew how to play guitar. That's awesome. A surprise. <laughs> a surprise. <laughs> this early in the show? Wow, it's going to be a good episode. Have we ever done a song? Uh, not to my knowledge. <laughs> we haven't. I don't think we ever have. Should we try one? Yeah. I'd Why like not? It. First would, time for everything. Would you like to for us to just come up with something? Yeah, I'd be really impressed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a little... Blink 182. Ooh. Ooh. A little blinky. A little blinky. Okay. All right. We can do that. Let's right? see what we can uh, so, come up with. Oh, Hit so it. Let me just pull this, p- pull this up. Um, <laughs> Going back to high school. I feel like an old man while I'm looking at my phone. <laughs> Wait, is that really? Are you having to do that? No. Oh. I was trying to act like, what is this? Oh. So it looked like I couldn't read. Real real question. How does it sound? <laughs> Good. Yeah, I, I like that. that. I like that. I dig that. Hey, I this. dig that. Oh, I like it. That is very cool. From the top. Here we go. Here we are. It's our show. This is ninjas or butterflies. We're here to tell you some tales about conspiracies and lies. But there's one simple thing. Can't really shake right now. And it is the simple fact that we have a traitor on our team. Lily might be a communist spy. I'm terrified. It scares me. Can't you see? She's not who she says she was. She's not who she says she was. Chinese. She's taking trips to Russia. Says it's for work. I don't trust ya. I don't trust ya. Lily might be a communist spy. Can't you see? Karl Marx, Xi Jinping. What did you do to our Lily? All a joke. She's obviously loves our country. <laughs> She's super proud and glad to be living in the land of liberty. <laughs> Lily's not a communist. This is ninjas or butterflies. Episode 43. Now it's time to start the show. I was off key on then, that last part. And that no. is okay. That's, that's all right. I have mixed emotions <laughs> about this song. Woo. Wonderful job. That um, was intense. Guys. My blood was pumping. Wow. <laughs> what is what is Blink-82? What genre is that? Alternative? Alternative rock. Well, Blink-82 uh, is uh, the no, predecessor no. Pop of Blink-182. Punk. Blink Pop Punk, I guess, yeah. Did I say Blink-82? You did. <laughs> <laughs> it's a short version. Blink- <laughs> it is B- it is B-2? Blink-82? B-2? Guys. Wow. You Apart like from the insults. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we, we were joking. Yeah, we resolved it. We but, said at the end, you're not a communist yeah. spy. But we are going to edit the part at the end we, that yeah. says edit you're not. Out. <laughs> yeah. um, my favorite line is Karl Marx, Gigi Pink. <laughs> what did it you sounds do so to good. our Lily? <laughs> <laughs> it sounds so good. Oh my yeah. gosh. And you can't speak Chinese. You speak Mandarin. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Listen, but, it's interesting oh that you know that. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, well, they, they, compromised. Speak, they speak Cantonese too in China. Oh, there's different. There's different dialects. Are you a spy? <gasps> <gasps> it's a smoke. You're doing this and look over here. Ni hao. Look at Ni hao. Shui bi. <laughs> I said hi. Sprite. 
Oh my gosh, what a crazy song. Good job, guys. Hey, thanks. thanks. You thanks. guys have really good voices. I Whoa, know. Thanks. We harmonize pretty well. I, yeah. say. <laughs> I said thanks, and he was like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just start laughing. <laughs> uh, I really try to get that. Ah, I get our, let's do it, let's do it right now. Andy, hit the note. No! What did you do to our Lily? See, uh, I miss okay. it every Don't time. Worry. I thought it was good. Oh, for all the musical people, you're welcome. Yeah, we're having fun. We're, we're having fun. Mm. We're just goofing off a bunch no. of goofy goobers. Watch out. I thought it was good. <laughs> I'm a goofy goober, yeah. <laughs> you're a goofy goober, yeah. What is that? <laughs> SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Oh, I don't recognize that. <laughs> I didn't either. You know I what, don't. SpongeBob? I did watch SpongeBob, but I don't recognize it's that. The it's the SpongeBob movie. movie. Oh, we've no, it. that I was. I stopped watching SpongeBob once that came out. I no, know, but you we've watched watch it. But I'm older than you guys, so I get it. <laughs> no. <laughs> we watched it at least. A hundred times yeah. with Ada. Ada loves it. Nice. Please watch it. It's one of it's a it's a comedic piece to be celebrated. It my, is really fun. My favorite SpongeBob song is the one uh, where he's in the marching band uniform and yeah. it's like in the dome. Oh, yeah. The bubble Dude, that one is insane. That yeah. one gave me chills when I was a kid. I was like, that's so good. <laughs> the bubble bowl. I want to go back and watch the conspiracy one. You know what I'm talking about? Where he's like in a secret society. Oh no. Of the oh. conch. Is that what it was? Yeah. He's got the conch society. Um. Speaking of SpongeBob, everyone be quiet. Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh. This actually has everything to do with SpongeBob. Oh. The question is? Yep. Ooh, okay. Nice. Um, This one's honestly not... It's just... It's not funny. It's We shouldn't joke about it. Um, But it is sent in by a viewer, and we will read everything sent in by a viewer. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Once again, thank you to the viewers that sent all these questions in. We don't know what they're going to be. So this is fine. It's a little intense. Yep. But um, today's question, do widows deserve it? Oh. Do widows deserve it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, of course. Wait. Yeah. Andrew? Yeah, I think I think they do. Whoa. Okay. Lily might have a different opinion. I am sweating all over my body. What are you talking about? I just feel like this is a trap. I I don't know what the end of this sentence is. It's just yes or no. And, but you guys are saying yes. Which I'm like, yeah, we're, yes. Widows do deserve it. Widows deserve to be cared no, for. No, yes or no. It's a yes or no. I'm going to say yes with the boys. Peer pressure. Oh. See, I said that because I felt like it would make Lily more comfortable, feel more comfortable. Hmm. <laughs> And I know you did that because yep. we really wanted to see the true side of you, Lily, oh, like, no. in that. <laughs> this is sad. Yeah, it's a sad day for all podcasting. <clears throat> we just set you up to win, and you went right there. Yeah, we're just like, you know, we'll play you, devil. You, we'll play devil's advocate. Wait, well, we can cut it. Do you want to change your answer just for the? Uh, sure. Okay. Do widows deserve it? No. To be cared for by the community <laughs> after they lose their husbands. Wow. Wow, Lily. Wow. Lily so doesn't sad. care about widows, apparently. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Oh, but. <laughs> We got her. We got her again. <laughs> we got you. That was we didn't even have to try <laughs> at no. all. Of course, we care for the widows. We they, do. Yeah, they they do deserve all the sport. Yes. So widows but. and widowers. Yeah. Yeah, I learned recently that it's not called like men can't be called widows. It's a widow. What is it? A widower. widower. Yeah. It's a what is Through, it? Yeah, I was like, it's I a didn't, widower. I didn't. I didn't know that. All right, so what's new? Not a lot, of man. Just a lot going on. Just so much. We just got done with our uh, live podcast last week. Woohoo! Well, we talked about that the week prior. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we talked about it. Oh. Yeah. Already. Oh, we, we didn't talk about how we all had a sleepover, though. It was we did a little. No, I'm saying, yeah, we didn't talk about how it went. 
I know, but remember last time we're like we're trying to get Lou to <laughs> oh, say yeah, Happy yeah. Father's Day, and they're like, "Oh, oh the live yeah. podcast." Like, no, that was last <laughs> yeah, week. I got it. Okay, oh, guys, okay. we yeah. always film a week prior to the <laughs> when this is coming out. Yeah. Which, by the way, I think is pretty unheard of in the podcast world because we are pretty up to date one week in advance. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. I don't know though. A lot, yeah, a lot of people do. Here's like, some insight. Far, far Wait, out. Here's some advance. insight. We're filming this on June fifteenth. Ha ha ha! A Thursday. And you won't see this until June twenty third. <laughs> 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 Jokes on you! Jokes on you! A lot might happen in between then and now. But we had so much fun. It was such a fun little trip to the coast. Yes, and if you haven't bought Anthony's game, go buy it. Yeah, mm-hmm. Anthony Russo Bible's funny card game. Mm-hmm. Even if you don't like him, it's on which, Amazon. Which we get. Yeah. Listen, we get you guys don't like him. That he's don't think he's funny. Whatever, just buy the game. Yeah, yeah buy the game. He looks funny. Yeah, he is cute. He is cute, <laughs> like a little puppy. A little puppy. A little wanna, bald puppy. Just get a roll up a newspaper like, don't do that. Ah, Stop peeing on the couch. Sleep it outside. I'm changing my questions corner. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this, yeah, see, we don't think she wasn't prepared. Yeah, I was. I had a good one. No. But now I have a better one. Yeah, all this puppy talk really spung like, oh, that, ah, that's a question. Oh. Would you rather have a dog or a cat? Would you rather have a dog or a widow? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> a widow. I don't know if we've talked about Larkin. We haven't talked about Larkin, have we? Nope. You got a new dog. New dog. New dog in house. Yes. Do you want to tell him why? My grandfather passed away. It's very sad. I know. Bring it down. Well, you mentioned that people just think I got a new dog and it's a 12-year-old dog. He was 91, my grandfather. What a run. What a run. What a run. I'm not going to make it nearly that far at all. (laughs) If I hit six. (laughs) Knock on wood. You want it sooner or longer? Longer. Okay, cool. I was like, <laughs> you're going to make 60. Maybe not. It was very we'll sad. And, um, but you got a, got, uh, a dog out of it. We got we adopted a really sweet his dog. dog. That's awesome. Her Larkin. name is Larkin, and she's a yellow lab that's got morbidly obese. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I was trying to pat, like, let that front slide something, by. Something. Out of the situation is the it. A product of it is a yeah. new dog. Um, name Larkin and she's so sweet. How's it going with Frank and the dog? Frank feels a little bit like chopped liver, so his adventures have increased. He keeps spending time with our neighbors and sneaking we, out. We get a call almost every day. We have a dog named Frank here at our house. Yeah, that's um, that's kind of the worst. We've had we had yeah. Pico keep getting out, and you're just like you feel like a terrible neighbor because you're know. like, I'm so sorry, but she's so like my dog. No joke, she's opening the gate. She know the little lever thing that you push wow. Open the gate. Oh, wow. She knows how to move it. Well, I'm like, I, I can't help it. I no. I can't help it. She's smart. I'm getting to the point though, to where it's like you can just keep them. Keep them. <laughs> yeah, keep Frank. We um, but he, the most for the most part, he goes to our house, the, our neighbor's house across the street. Um, and so I'm thinking of Frank as kind of like a free range dog, and they have free range chickens to the point where they yeah. spend time in all of our neighbors' yeah. yards, like up the street. And fair stuff. is fair. Free range yeah. dog. Fair is fair. And at one point, your kids will be a part of that. <laughs> they're like, let's Ada just free roam. range children. Just go. Yeah. Free just range. go. <laughs> yeah. Or they'd be like, we have this is the uh, Orlando Police Department. We have a child of four years old, Ada. Yeah. Um, you, we'll pick her up this weekend. It's fine. <laughs> just hold on to her. Yeah. Wait, we're actually mm, we're in a movie. <laughs> Can't get her. So what else is new? What what's that, what's going on in everyone's lives? Well, I wanted to say that we're nine episodes away from. 52 episodes, which is that a is year. That is nuts to me. Nine weeks away from a year worth over two months. of podcasts. <laughs> we have got and, to start planning. And Ow. we hit number 36, right? Seven. 37. 37, 37. 37 on uh, Spotify's, <laughs> Spotify's, <laughs> Spotify's podcast. Spotify's comedy podcast. Woo! Yes. Insane. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Ooh, 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 and ooh. it is all because you guys will keep watching. You guys keep leaving reviews and sharing with other people. Mm-hmm. Yes. Feels good. We're like, no joke. We're in the same conversations on Spotify with Bill Burr. Yep. Joey Diaz. Yep. We're passing Logan Paul. We passed yep. the office ladies. Yep. Take that, Pam Beasley. No. Hey. Okay. Now well. take that. Yeah, take that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you. Oh. Is it Pam and Angela? <laughs> yeah. I love Angela. I know it. It's so funny because, like I told, like I told you, I was like, I started listening to that podcast whenever I started my job here, and now we're beating them in the ratings. <laughs> wow, <laughs> we're coming for you, Joe Rogan. Hey, hey, we should, <laughs> dude. The day start we pass Joe Rogan, Rogan. Ha! that would be dude. insane. We have to retire at that point. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But it's not crazy. Even, not even a year in, we're in, uh, we're in twenty seven. Crazy spot at the rankings. 37. 37. 37. That's absolutely bomb. But no, do we get into the top thirty? 
We got in the top 30. That's what I thought. We got 27. No, no, no. 37. We, didn't get, we got 37. What? I took a screenshot of the last. I thought Danny sent us one that was that had us in the top 30. Somebody we, got confused. Yeah, 37 was the highest. And then okay, all 30. of podcasts on Spotify, we hit 165. Okay, when, you, when they said top 30, that meant like not the top 30, 30, but yeah. like in yeah. the 30s. In top. the 30s, My yeah. bad. Still, though. Crazy. Wow. Hooray. Such a cool thing. Such a fun thing. Um, let's talk about the live podcast that we did. Yes. Just for a second. I It took me. You weren't nervous at all. You didn't poop 12 times in um, the, the first, like, two hours? Bro, it took me four days to recover. Yeah. yeah. I made that I, recap video, and most of it is you talking about how bad you have to poop backstage. Mm-hmm. Dude, it was... it. Take us through. How were you actually feeling? Like, Because it's the first time we've ever done a live podcast, me. but you've been on stage before, but it's just not, yeah, I, not I, very I, often. I hate you it you every hate time. It. But this one was... It seemed a little different. Because it's like we've never done anything live podcast. Yeah, like. a lot of times yeah, you're also doing ninjas forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you've also done a lot of like character stuff on stages and yeah. never. So it was just not me a lot of on be yourself. stage. Yeah. Um. So it was rough. I pooped a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I my stomach was like this. Yeah. The whole time. But you did great. Yes. I thought Thank we had you. a lot of fun on stage. We we had some good zingers. I my, felt comfortable. My mouth was so dry, I guess, due to the nervousness. Yeah. I drank three bottles of water on stage. So funny. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. So it wrecked me. Yeah. Probably that, that podcast will probably be out. So you can check that out on uh, Bible's Funnies. Um, but but there, here's there, the question. Yeah. Do you guys want a live podcast of the ninjas or butterflies? Mm. And if mm. so, would you come to it? Yeah. And tell us where you live as well. Let's have like yeah. a pinned comment on YouTube. Tell us where you live and if you'd be interested. So yeah. Yes, and where if, do you if live? If we did a live podcast here in Florida, would you guys come to it and we would make it an event? Yeah. I would rather just go get corn dogs with people. What? Lily. Meet and greets. No, no. We have to do a live. We can podcast. have it. We can. That's I'm the thing. We can do the live. Can, you do the meet and greet after. Yeah, I'm do, scared. We do questions, um, Q and A afterwards. If I can do it, you can do it. No. Yes. Yeah. You gave a speech at the uh, pre-busy season party. You killed it. I know, it. but I was yeah. sick about it. Yeah. And bada boom, bada bang. That's what it takes. Oh, my goodness. But if that'd be fun for our one-year anniversary or, or something in the next year, that'd be super, super stinking cool. Yeah. yeah. I the, would love that. Be able to meet everybody, to have fun, questions and answers. Yeah. Because we had some fans. Um, we had Bibles Funny fans, Ninjas of fans all come to this thing. Obviously, more Bible probably is funny fans there. Yeah. Um, but we just got to meet some people from Miami that drove like... I don't know, five hours so cool. just to come talk with us and hang yeah. out. So cool so with cool. some really cool art. Was, uh, Zoe? Zoe. Yep. Zoe. Yep. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Shout out Zoe. Zoe. Yay. And her mommy and daddy. <laughs> and her grandma? No. Someone someone else was there with them. Possibly. Possibly. Maybe a ghost. Maybe they didn't know. <laughs> They're like, wait a minute. You saw <laughs> wait, the ghost of Francesca? Who are you? <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah. You were so sick and you weren't eating because you were so nervous like the whole trip. And I said, I wish I could just possess your body and take a vitamin. That's what I was saying. She didn't say that. <laughs> take a vitamin. But you didn't do it. Have a nope. bottle of water. I'm still recovering. I'm like. That's what I'm saying. I, I felt like I got sick on like throughout the beginning of the week. It was just, it was a lot. Yeah. Even but, though we were down there Friday to Sunday, it felt like we worked the whole weekend. It was yeah. great. Yeah. But it was fun. Still it was a, It was a lot of fun. I'm really glad we went. And it's a great, great trial run for us to get and do one of our own. Yep. It's going to be a blast. Orlando yeah. area. And ours won't be just a normal podcast. We'll make it fun. We'll make it we'll make it fun just like Anthony did. We'll do something really, really different. Can I be the Oprah? To give out free corn dogs? Can I pass stuff out? Yeah. Totally. And, but you're also Find gonna some be on stuff stage. in your budget. The mm-hmm. the seat that Anthony gave me was perfect because yeah. it was like I wasn't facing the audience. So yeah. it's like I could like, but sometimes I would get confident and be like, look at the audience and be like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> <laughs> But, but you're gonna have to do like five minutes of stand up before we get up. Ah! You're gonna forget have to, you're about gonna have to it. Do some crowd work and stuff. No. And yeah, it'll be good. So communists. Hey, right? yeah. communism. Yeah. Communism. Boo. Boo. Get off. I don't even know what communism is. Oh, can you give me a two two minute recap? Yep, it is. It's something else. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you. Yep. Thanks. Um. Okay, last week I talked about the Las Vegas UFO thing. Yes. Right? Yeah. Let's see. And now What's it's going that? viral. Everyone's going talking viral about it. viral, yeah. and there's more stuff that is coming out mm-hmm. about it. Ready? Yes. Ready. Wait, before you start, because okay. you're going to use the adjective or noun whistleblower. And when you defined it for me this weekend, it added a lot of context for me. Josh, what is a whistleblower? 
What is a whistleblower? Yes. It is a process of going through, I'm, people are going to make fun of me because I don't fully know, but I know there's a process that you go and get documentation of basically you are basically tattletaling in a sense or yeah. like saying something bad is happening within this organization, but you're protected by the U.S. government with this documentation. So it's called the whistleblower. It's legal and official. Yeah. So I, you can't. But how does that work with Edward Snowden? Because he was a whistleblower. No, he, but it wasn't. He, he didn't go through the process of becoming a whistleblower. I thought oh, he like, was I, an illegal. But whistleblower. I, I think yeah. Doesn't like, doesn't that word just get thrown around a lot around? A little bit. Just but for there, like, there's a legal process. Okay, okay of got Being it. a whistleblower. Got it. Because I know like the term is just like from the the layman term of you you knew something was wrong and you went and told everyone even though you, the process you were underneath or the organization you're underneath would not have you do that. Yeah. Like, mm. so, okay. so like a, like a corporation or something, if you are working there's for a, a corporation and you see something happening yeah. that is like tax fraud or something, you can go and fill out a whistleblower thing and report them. Got it. And you won't get fired from so the company because that's illegal. Yeah. So it's oh. technically called like, okay, got it. There's yeah. a legal process for it. Yeah. Got it. Okay, cool. I didn't know that. I'm learning things. I still don't know what communism is. So <laughs> I'm going well, to try I'm a this. Whistleblower. I'm going to try this weekend. <laughs> Yeah. You are? I write it on the communists. Who's protecting you? Um, the whole U.S. government? Yes. Oh, my goodness. The FBI. Baby. Just kidding. I don't know if I fully trust the FBI. <laughs> yeah. After what's happening. Alex in Jones. World. That's who's protecting you. No, I don't want Alex Jones to protect <laughs> me. If I had out, uh, whether you call him crazy or not. In a street fight, maybe dude, Alex Jones would protect me. That's what I'm he would protect me. <laughs> I think he's crazy enough he could. He would protect anybody. My mom always calls it the zombie apocalypse list. Who would you have on your list? Mm. You might want Alex Jones. Dude, there. Alex Jones. Wait, can we bring, I think can we do a zombie apocalypse next week? Can we do a top 10? You have to bring your top 10 like celebrity or like yeah, political yeah. figures in history or something. Nice. Yeah. Let's do that. Nice. Because next week will technically be like July 1st or, or third. June 30th episode. Okay. Yeah. So if we want to do our 4th of July episode, we can be, that could be our patriotic episode. Do they have oh. to be living? No, I don't think so. Can they I think be, like your dream team. Yeah. Zombie team. Can they be cartoons? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> fictional or For non-fictional. Sure. Okay. Yeah. No SpongeBob though. Hey, do you okay. remember when I, <laughs> remember, I did you just get playing from Ed, Ed and Eddie? <laughs> do you remember when I was talking about the Las Vegas <laughs> thing? Derailed. About, about six minutes ago. Go yeah. ahead. Right, break it yeah. up. It's not a lot of information, but it's new information. Okay, update us. Um, so there's all the the they actually have a video of the family going into the backyard, oh, and yeah. the the sons and are they're carrying guns, and they see something which everyone's trying to like show it on the video, like oh you can see this. And it's like no, you can't really see anything. It's like whatever, but it scared the family. Uh. It's where they're like ah, and they all ran away. They ran into the front. So who was carrying guns? The family with the thing okay. that crashed Got in the backyard. Wait, but talk about the police. That's what I was getting to. Oh, okay. sorry. Let me tell so, the story. So, well. so it crashes. The family goes out there with guns. Yes. Okay. Um, and then the policeman pulls up, mm -hmm. and he's like on the radio before he gets there. He's like, oh, man. He's like, you guys, I got butterflies. Um, this is freaking me out he's a nervous? little bit. Yeah. yeah. He's like, oh, he's like, I don't want to do this. So he talks to the family, and they're like, there's there's two creatures back there. Ah! We talked about this last week. I know. We, uh, two creatures back there, eight to ten feet tall, big eyes, a big mouth. And they like to run it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you describing a lily? Wait, did we hey, talk about punk? it? Are we sure we talked about it on the podcast? Yeah, for sure. Oh, I I've thought already... we talked about it in person. Yeah, the yeah. shriek that you gave last week's it's episode the when you said the mysterious, yeah. the, the two creatures, you freaked <laughs> But um, <laughs> okay. the cops like, and then he was asking neighbors like, did you see something crash in the yard? Blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah, whatever. Um, but then all these neighbors were reporting these black SUVs pulling up to this house that the crash landed in, right? Golly. And um, they saw men in suits get out, mm -hmm. interview the family, and the news, and all these people have trying to been, they've been trying to get a hold of the family, and they- the They're family, dead! Well, no, they don't know where they're at. Oh, they don't know where the family's at. Oh, no. They're not at the house anymore. Oh, cool. no. Cool. And it's like, they've seen too much. What? Where'd you go? What? <laughs> What's happening? Doesn't seem like a great time to disappear. I'm not dead. Dude, if I saw an right. alien and the government was like, we're going to make you disappear, we're going to pay for it, I'd be like, early retirement. Yeah. I don't know if that's. A, are you guys implying that it was not the government? It was the aliens? No, I'm NABDM? implying it's the government. Oh, nabbed them. Yeah. Oh. I, pay, I said aliens. They saw too much. They I say saw too, too much. I say aliens. 
Well, have you seen the video of the men in black? Like the yes. real men in black? I've, yeah, I've seen like dude. Dude. <laughs> bone chilling. <laughs> bone chilling. It is. They look like Slender Man. It was like it was a hotel. And there was someone that oh, worked yeah, for the hotel yeah. that like reported like a UFO or they it's like saw the something. surveillance footage them walking and in. These two dudes that look they're almost seven feet tall, uh, bald, no eyebrows. Mm. They're like they're wearing the same black suit. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they're wearing a hat too. Mm-hmm. They looked identical. They walked in and everyone instantly was like Ooh. Yeah. So if the men in black were real, you would say they're not a part of our government. They would be they would be aliens it's, posing as No, no. I think it's like a it's a it's a Because um, of our government, they'd be like, hey, let's get some prosthetics. No, I think eyebrows. there's 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 sex of our government that we don't know about. Yeah. Yes. Like dark, deep, deep I, stuff that yeah. I completely all the, agree. All the with stuff that. that like the um MK Ultra stuff, yeah. how we never knew about that. Yeah, the atomic. But that's bomb. that's a legit thing that really happened, and that those are court yeah. cases about it too. Like they would give these people acid to yes. see if it like just to see, some, put them in a room and just see what happens. That was our government. Yeah, and seeing if they could literally mind control. Yeah, people are gonna think I'm like I'm losing. MK Ultra, I'm MK Ultra is, is a literal a legit hats? fact. All right, MK Ultra is a legitimate fact. You cannot oh, deny yeah. it. that's a deep hole, but like it's all real. But it's yes, scary it just, stuff. It like. It just gets crazy. Yeah. Man. But yeah, so I just thought that was Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy too when like all of this has happened and then you meet people that are on like the opposite side of the spectrum from us where it's like, they're like, trust the government, all this stuff. And it's like, mm, I'm going to have some reservations about whatever they're putting out right now because maybe it's acid. There's a level of trust. <laughs> 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 but yeah, there's a level of trust because yeah. you can't be so, so psychotic like, mm. um, so not you, trusting anyone. You don't want to make a bunker? No, I don't want to make a bunker. No, we're making a bunker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're making a bunker. We don't have a bunker. Uh, <laughs> we don't. Um, but going on that news, the whistleblower has that a lawyer, which in a way, the, if you see a picture of this lawyer, he looks like a UFO lawyer. Really? <laughs> because, <laughs> look at that dude. He does, oh does he not just oh, look like no. the most <laughs> UFO type of lawyer in the world? But- this is a fact that I learned over the weekend that I could not help but tell you guys because I was like, I can't wait a week to tell you. But it says, crashed UFO recovered by the U.S. military, distorted space and time, leaving one investigator nauseous and disoriented. When he went in, he discovered it was much larger inside than out. This is the attorney telling this from the whistleblower. And so, and it says right here, this is some of the more details. He says, they had a guy go into it. Into the UFO? They had a guy go into this crashed UFO, and it was the size of a football stadium. Oh, my gosh. That's what crazy. That mean? While the outside was only about 30 feet in diameter. Oh, my gosh. That's like uh, the tent Hermione, in Harry Potter. Her- yeah, this is Mary. Purse. We're inside of Mary Poppins' bag right now. This oh is like, gosh. this. it's so wacky to think about, and- and it's like, what do you, you don't know if that's true or not. You don't know what's happening, but it's like, this is, it's a court case. This is, this all is being testified. And what do we do with this information? So he got out and he was like, mm, I feel a little queasy. That's yeah. it. He wasn't like, I would be like, send me in in a space suit or yeah. in a hazmat suit or something. I mean, just think about like how your, like your life could just splits upside down. Like at that point, like it's just, yeah. You, everything that you thought you knew gets completely, you have doubts and it's just, it's scary, man. That is so, so terrifying. I want, to, I want to talk more about this. Okay. But I have something really important to say. Sure, go ahead. We got an eye, don't go anywhere! Oh. That was a... That was really good. That sounded fantastic. Listen, everybody, we work at Sunday Cool, which is a t-shirt company outside of Orlando, Florida. And we want to tell you about what it's like to live a day in the life of working at Sunday Cool. And that right there is about 95% of it. Yeah. (laughs) What we do here at Sunday Cool, we create peril for everybody, all churches in the the whole United States of America. Sometimes Canada. Sometimes Canada as well. Mm-hmm. And if you're if you're a pirate, you can come and land in the Florida beaches and we can give you stuff you can take wherever yeah, you want. Here's, here's what's so cool about Sunday Cool. 
Tell me about it. Because if you have artwork, if Boom. you don't have artwork, but you want custom apparel, we're your guys. We have amazing gals. artists. Gals. We have amazing artists that can work around the clock just to get you your art exactly the way you want it. And the farts. And the farts. And we print on our signature Super Soft Sunday Cool Tees. Yep. But guess what? You can use any t-shirt you want. Absolutely. But our Super Soft Sunday Cool Tees, Primo, the best. And we're and we use water-based ink, which is the best kind of ink. But guess what? You can use any kind of ink you want. You can use puff ink. Boom. You can use iridescent. You yep. can use sun reveal, Absolutely. water reveal. Absolutely. We're innovative like that, and we love it, and we love you. And you should order through SundayCool.com. And we have fun while doing it, baby. So thanks for watching this ad. Yeah. Woo! I cannot believe that fart sound. <laughs> that was really incredible. So what are your main fears when you're doing a live podcast? Um, diarrhea of the mouth. So saying something you're really really going to regret. Yeah. Okay. It's honestly, I don't know what the hurdle is. It's not, it's like, um, I, I think it's just so many people. Yeah. But I think you're one of those people, as soon as you start doing it immediately, you're just going <gasps> to. What? what? Danny scared me so bad. <laughs> He's so tall. I'm, we, just talked, we just talked about those government people. <laughs> Danny walks in with no eyebrow. Ah! <laughs> Danny, come in here for a second. Come he in here for a second. He scared me so bad. Uh, talking to Andrew's mic. Okay. No. What? Oh. Do you believe in aliens? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> totally regret coming in here. Right yeah. Now. Do you believe um, in aliens? No. No? Do you, do you, what do you think those UFOs are? Mm. Don't blame the Chinese. <laughs> Danny always blames the Chinese guys. <laughs> um, I feel I, real comfortable. Right I now. think. Um, what if it's like, uh, like, uh, like gases in space? <laughs> <laughs> Danny Roar dance, everybody! Yeah. Gases in space. <laughs> we figured it out. Yeah. 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 The northern lights, just the UFOs. Yeah, yeah. when a when a <laughs> silver metallic object passes a plane, that's definitely a gas. <laughs> it's yeah. a cloud of gla gas. This is a good question, though. I'm I really regret walking in right now. <laughs> <laughs> I just want everybody to know I really regret this. All right, so. we'll, we'll have you on and have a further discussion about gases, gases, gases. and alien craft. Gosh, I totally regret that answer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, have fun. Love Bye, you, Danny. Danny. Gases. Was on the spot, and he comes up with gases. He's not on the podcast for like 40 weeks, and he comes up with gases? <laughs> Come on, Danny. Come on. Does he even watch the podcast? <laughs> gases? Are you kidding me? Come on. Um, we love him, though. Okay. Dude, I this is this is a TikTok I saw today. Please. Oh, no. And I saw it, and I'm like, oh, these are AI images. Okay. Right? They weren't. No? Nope. They weren't. Are you sure? Yep. Because nope, we've I'm been not, tricked I'm before. Not, I'm, not, I'm not sure, <laughs> but... We've been tricked before. We saw it today. Thing, we're filming the today. The thing is said, this, these were... Photographs from a, a French submarine in the ocean. Okay. And a I, submarine? I'm, submarine. <laughs> a submarine. <laughs> that was so good. But um I'm like, those look AI. So I'm like looking at the comments, people are like, oh, that's obviously AI. And there's a couple of people are like, this is not AI. I remember them reporting about this in the eighties. Oh wow. These same so pictures. It's the same okay, cool. And I'm like, yikes. <laughs> hey, yikes. Okay. Is it a critter? No, there are things. Coming in and out of the ocean. Show me. Mm. Okay, here's some. Oh my goodness! This. Ready? This, that, 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 dude, that. No, man, that's no. Nah. There's so many reports of like how UFOs get uh, that are majority coming from the ocean. Like, there's literally okay. footage of. See that? Can you see this? That's trippy. No. Nope. Can both of you see this? Yes. Mm -hmm. This. That? Ooh. That's just a killer whale, baby. That? Oh, no. That? Oh, no! <laughs> that? Yikes. And this? Again. I don't like it. The Abyss with not Bruce Willis. I mean, here's where it gets crazy. What? I'm losing it. <laughs> I'm on the edge. Nice. Ooh. Okay. NASA just had a hearing. Okay. Hearing? Yeah. 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 Are you See? hearing? <laughs> I'm losing it. <laughs> okay, NASA I just had a hearing. What sleeping. happened? Just kidding. I'm fine. Um, it was like this big cr uh, press conference, and a woman got up and said, "We're changing the acronym of UAP." Was it UAP? Which it's the new thing of saying UFO, 
which stands for Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon. Oh. She says, we're changing, changing it to UAP, meaning Unidentified Anomalous Phenomenon because of the crafts that we're seeing come up from the ocean. Say it again. What? What's the last what one? Part? The, the last one. The last one. <laughs> the, new, the, new, the new one. So it was... No, we know what it is. No, I know. Just, no, no, let me just say it all again. <laughs> Unid- we didn't know the new no one. one. What was you know where my head Because was. you guys are going this way, this way, this way. Just we just didn't know the last one. That's it. What the is part, the newest one? What's the last one? The newest the, the one. The new iteration. Unidentified anomalous phenomenon. What's yes. an anomalous? <laughs> <laughs> that's, a sal- that's a valid question. What is anomalous? Could be whatever. <laughs> Anomalous meaning it can't. It doesn't have to be aircraft. It can okay. be. It's just. It's something. It's an object. An unidentified anomalous phenomenon. <laughs> but that so doesn't just use the word in the definition. But when oh, I'm gonna fight so, everyone. Stop why, it! Why hey, I, listen. That doesn't make any sense. Why? Because there needs there needs to be a UFO. Because if there's a flying one, now they're just putting them in one big category. When there needs to be some anomalous, categories. Anomalous could be because it's a. It could be underwater. Yeah. Mm. I have, be, I have Oxford's definition of the word right here. Of anomalous? Yes. Deviating from what is standard, normal, or expected. Mm, that makes sense. See, I feel like they're just trying to confuse us now. It's like, it, there's nothing wrong with UFO. There's right. nothing wrong with UFO. I think maybe it just triggers an idea. That's the stigma. That, yeah. And that's the yeah, thing. Yeah. That If they're trying to get away with that, yeah. sure, whatever. But it seems like they're building an umbrella of a category when in reality it's like there are unidentified unidentified flying objects yeah swimming so, objects. yeah so like there's got to be i don't know they're just trying to confuse us now yeah. and they're just like yeah. it's it's weird i don't like that but, but i thought that was crazy because yeah. they're like they just they felt like they had to talk about it yeah they're like we're changing it from that's why aerial I'm... phenomenon to uh ano- what did i say anomalous I anomalous anomalous <laughs> Okay, but that's why I didn't hear the second part was because I was thinking of that song. Um, um, that's crazy. I don't. I don't like. I don't know. I. I hope we get more information about it. I want more footage. I can't wait till yeah. the next like viral UFO clip goes. Uh, whatever the new acronym is, but I can't wait for the next one to go viral because I just I'm fascinated by it. I I'm not convinced it's the angels and demons things. I'm still on the edge of like well, maybe yeah. the world is bigger than we know. I don't know. I have no, no idea. I don't think so. I think. There was something that came out that I haven't watched fully yet, so I won't talk about it fully. Um, it's all these. There's a um, a documentary which I complete. It's like it's not close encounter. It's something okay, like UFO files or something. Yeah. But they just had this conference to where they had these different scientists and stuff talk about the whistleblower and like everything that's happening right now with UFOs, UAPs, aliens, the government. And it was this really intense long thing about some dude that is state he's a scientist stationed in uh antarctica talking about this technology that they have okay. that they actually got from an alien species and you're kind of like what yeah you know? sure sure you did bell and, but you're kind of you have to be like very yeah um reserved reserved I guess. yeah because yeah. you're like Guarded. these guys could just be a bunch of tinfoil hat people it could yeah. be hooey yeah you want to be open minded, but also be kind of guarded and just like they're very taking convincing. the information. Well, yeah, the but, greener, but rice. the main guy, the main speaker, who is salt. the coordinator for all of this. What? What I, is it? Grain of salt or grain of? It's salt. What did I you said say? Grain of rice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! You gotta take it with a grain of rice. Right, just, guys, take it with a grain of rice. <laughs> take everything we say on this podcast with a grain of rice. Um, <laughs> that's so funny. But he says he fully believes in aliens and stuff, which I'm like. Not really. The Antarctica convinced. guy. Yeah. No, yeah. no, no. The the main guy. Okay, got it. Um, But he's saying that they are, eh, quotes, yeah. very peaceful. They mean us no harm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, yeah. whatever. But he's like, the government is actually, they have a bunch of their technology, and they're going to stage an attack, mm-hmm. an alien attack or what? an alien invasion. That's Blue Book or something? Uh, Is it Blue Book? Project Blue... No, oh, that's when they are Kelly. staging the return of Jesus, right? What is that? <laughs> that's the whole thing. Oh. You're going down into like all these Uh-oh. <laughs> different things. Grab a shovel. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he's saying they're going to use it to implement new things or whatever. Yeah. So, Well, I mean, if you think if you truly, if you go down the rabbit hole of like aliens do exist and they look at our world, what do they have to get? Like, because if their technology is like so past ours, like they, we have, we offer them nothing. 
mm. except for maybe probably entertainment at this point. Yeah. yeah. But like, so like there's that, that is, if they do exist and like we do like just entertain that idea, then they look at our world and they're like, yeah, they're fun. Like we're not going to do anything because what's the point? Like, yeah. What do they yeah. have to offer us? I would know? say if there's any species that I'd want to kick it with, it'd be the human species. Right? Yeah. yeah. Have you ever tried fettuccine Alfredo, alien? <laughs> yeah. Just, a hot pocket. You ever tried a Coca Cola? <laughs> they just look at us like corgis. Like I just kind of want it. I want one. We give the aliens a McDonald's Coke. Or oh no, my gosh! Sprite. Sprite. Yeah, McDonald's, McDonald's Sprite. Sprite. Like, yeah, yeah. They're like, ah! <laughs> you're crazy, you're man. Doing poison. <laughs> I always think that would be just like like a, what was that movie called Paul? That yeah. alien that came down and they just became friends with it. I'm yeah. like, just imagine like an alien chilling here the whole time. <laughs> he's just has no intelligence whatsoever. He's just one of the rejects of the aliens. We just hang out with him because he's cool. Um, I didn't mean to make this a alien podcast. Hey, but it is. Today. Hey, we can have alien episodes. This yeah. is an alien episode. All right, alien I, episode. I do need to say though, when when we think that we're going to be touching on a lot of aliens, we need to be wearing a tinfoil hat. So please, guys, come prepared. We really do need to like buy like permanent ones. We've got to have some. Yeah. Does someone yeah. make them. I have um, a question. Oh yes, yes, yes. Question corners. Question corners. Question corners. Question corners. What questions are fresh <laughs> on our <her> mind? <laughs> How many questions is it? I question thought it's corner. three. Three? Okay, let's do three. Let's try it again. <laughs> question corner. Oh, question. Wait, 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 wait. Let's clear my throat. One, wait. It's two, four. Three. Three. Questions, questions corners, corners. Question corners. Question corners. Question corners with Lily. Oh. Where the, the questions are fresh on our mind. <laughs> now let's try it with sixteen. Ready? <laughs> question corner. No, wait, question. Wait, wait. <laughs> we we should have committed right? to it. Thirty-two. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. Or double so, it and give to the next person. I was. I was going to ask a different question, but then this question is just so appropriate for this episode because we've talked about it twice. He mentioned something too. You Andrew. Do. My palms are sweaty. In spirit. And honestly, maybe answer about yourselves, but then we're going to do like a, like a everybody phone a friend kind of, not really phone a friend, but everybody give your opinion about the other. <laughs> what kind of dog are you? Ooh, good that's question. That's to do with what we're talking about. Because we were talking about dogs at the beginning. Yeah. With Larkin. Were we? Yeah. yeah we were oh, talking yeah. about Larkin. And then he said that uh, the aliens think we're corgis. Okay. What kind of dog? For some context, one time Josh and I got in an argument. We talked about this, I think. Have we talked about podcast. it? How you told me that <laughs> most of the time I'm a golden retriever, but sometimes I'm a chihuahua. Yeah. Which is, <laughs> is such an insult. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. The get oh. out of here. Go. Not you, the Chihuahua. Watch it. Hey, okay, so we have to go. Everyone has to go around what they think they are, and then yeah. we have to go around and say who do you think they're like who? What do you think? Yeah. Oh okay. man, I don't know. I'm looking at some pictures. I don't, dude. I don't even stinking know, dude. Um, this is tough. Do you know the answer you have for yourself? Yeah. Well, then share first. Yeah. I think I am a Bernice Mountain Dog. A Bernice. D Bernice. Bernice. What is it? I thought it's Burmese. <laughs> I think it's Burmese. <laughs> I say Bern the ones with the, Bernice, have, like from like Dodgeball. The, the little barrels on their collar. Mm -hmm. okay. Do you know why they did that? That one right there? Yeah. Nice. Okay. Do you know why they did the barrel thing? No. It's because they were rescue dogs and they would go out into the wild, like the wild, like when someone was lost or missing, like in the snow. Oh, okay. It had bourbon or whiskey in it. To keep them warm. To keep them warm. Wow. I had no idea. Yeah. That's crazy. So like when did that happen? Like way back in the day then? Way back in the day. Nice. Yep. I want to cool. be that. Dog. Do you want to be it or do you think you are? I'm it? also I think I am it because I'm cuddly and I'm loyal and I'm a good house pet. I think I'm a like a lab. I was gonna call you a lab. <laughs> nice. I think that you are either a chocolate or a yellow lab. Like loving but also kind of crazy. And yeah. you're good at fetching things. <laughs> <laughs> what does hey, that mean? Hey Josh, go do this. What does that mean? I'm gonna go pick this up at the store real quick. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it may take him a while, but Fetch. he'll get back. <laughs> and you know they can hold an egg in their mouth and not squish it? Oh, you're gentle. Gentle. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> and bumpy. a good hunter. Ooh, yes. Ooh. Ooh. Speaking of Wilfred, pull him down. Show him to everybody. I don't think we've ever shown him on the podcast. This is oh, this is Josh's, Josh's deer that he uh, shot in Texas. But it was one of those like places that like they give him like a... Uh, like, they give him like two acres and they give Josh like a, a machine gun. No. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was like no. you, you cornered it. That's no, you didn't hunt that thing. 
I did hunt it. No, you didn't. I did. It was one of those ranches that like yeah. have the deers in like the in cages and stuff. No. <laughs> how much how much was it to go hunt on that excursion? I don't know. My dad paid for it. Yeah. So your dad <laughs> bought you a chance to shoot a deer on a private Texas. Listen, do you have they a put them like in a do basketball you, do you, court. Do you have a deer hanging up? No, because I don't have the money to get it taxidermied. But yes, I've killed a ton of deer. It was like a basketball court, and Josh just had a like. <laughs> I think that you you did it and then you went like this <laughs> after with a yeah. spear. Did you eat his heart? I did. Did you really? No, that would be cool. Did I would have make jerky out of him though. Really? Ooh. Was it good? Yeah, yeah it was nice. Really good. Um, I, think, I killed that deer fair and square. I know you did. I knew, but I knew that if I if I <laughs> if I put it down, you would hate it. We went um, out there at like three in the morning and we waited and we waited and we waited and I saw him and I. Did you put up the boy. tree stand, Clayton, or the blind, <laughs> Andrew? That was good. Mm -mm. Clayton? Clayton? What dog um, are you? I, I think I'm a boxer. Yeah. Because yeah. Boxer, was boxers gonna, was gonna look say, really mean, but then they're just like, like psychotic <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. yeah, and just run into walls and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so I feel like that I feel like that fits. And they never say no. And they never say no. They're just like, you wanna go? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah let's yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. You wanna go to the pound? Let's do okay, it. Yeah. <laughs> and their butts are like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> My butt does do that. Yeah. When you get excited. <laughs> All right, uh, Andrew, what are you thinking? I'll go with a dingo. A dingo? A dingo? A dingo ate my baby. Don't make that joke. You know the story behind that, right? No. It's terrible. Did they really eat a baby? A, 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 a dingo actually took a small child from his, uh, the mother. Um, like They were like outside or something. Took it and killed the baby. No. And now everyone's like, a dingo ate my baby. You know, because of a, like a news report that she had. And they made fun of her. And I was like... That's so sad. Also, it's a really fun thing to say, but it's so sad. Have you seen the conspiracy though? Is that she murdered her own kid what? and needed a scapegoat? Yeah, this I've whole like the that, whole no. like dingo fence and like the extermination of that breed but almost exterminated. And that probably is even worse than just the, just the yeah. saying itself, the conspiracy yeah. thing. Oh no. That's that's Golly. The I think Andrew's more of a poodle. <gasps> you are a cute little poodle. Yeah. He's just mad that yeah. I <laughs> made fun of his deer. Pood poodles don't like milk. I guess they don't want to drink milk. Oh For some reason, when I look at look at a dingo, I kind of see Andrew too. I can kind of see it. Kind Just of kidding. Asian, a little bit brown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> no, you're not a poodle, um, Andrew. I would. Okay, now everyone else. Now everyone else. Oh, yeah. I thought you would be a boxer. Okay, cool. Thanks. Yeah, or I said like a boxer, like some like yeah. in that breed, a family. Yeah. Um, you. Boxer I could also like see a border collie. Oh, I'm not smart enough. Yeah, you are very smart, but you're also crazy, like hyper. You're hyper, and you <laughs> you're not patient. Oh my gosh! No, in a good way. Hey, that was is a this good a fight? <laughs> Listen, are we fighting right now? You told me I could fetch. <laughs> <laughs> so what? You don't have a little bit of patience. <laughs> I w I also see you as a beagle. A beagle, I can see that. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Low to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Um, um, uh, Lily, I would say, uh, you know, Megan's dog, the mini Australian shepherd. Cute. Yeah. I would say that like, cause that works. Yeah. Like, cause su Thanks. super smart, but also I don't see you as like a big, big dog. Sorry, but you're nice. not a chihuahua. I don't think you're a chihuahua, but I think that well, mini Australian shepherd, I would say Josh is almost like, I don't know why, but I see like Mastiff dude, the old Mastiff. An English you're a nice Mastiff. little guy, but you look, you're tough looking, but you're beefy. Okay. And you're, and, and you're fun. Okay. You're cute. I'm trying to think of what they look like. Just kidding. Like they're the ones with the big yeah. droopy. Yeah. They're the ones that like, like the yeah, they're the scary dog? looking. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And I think um, uh, Andrew's a corgi. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> He's a corgi. Oh. We bought corgi mixes. I called a friend who had them. I said, "Should I get this dog?" He's like, "Dude, they're like a best friend who's out of shape." They're down to hang out for the first 15 minutes, and then they're just gonna sleep all day. I was like, Aww. "That's my dog." Or nice. a German Shepherd. Hey! Because I looked it up, and German shepherds are allergic to milk. <gasps> wow! That, that's it. He's a German shepherd. And you're you've stoic got, too. Yeah. And stoic, quiet. Yeah. Similar complexions. And you're protective. Oh! Get away! Back up! <laughs> Back up! Back up! <laughs> Back up. <laughs> Murphy. It's not his, yeah. <laughs> it's like donkey. <laughs> um. Hey, and, does Andrew have a reel? Oh yeah, I do. Good have question. A Everybody, it comment. What you think we are and what you think you are, dog wise. All right. All right. 
Andrew has a reel. Andrew has a reel. Andrew has a reel. I, I wonder, wonder what, what it is. There it is. I was thinking, I was like, what is um, it? Someone did comment, though, like, you guys are way too creative to not we, think of your own. We really song do. For that. We do. So, we, next, next episode let's come up we want to get a like actual music jingle too as yeah, well, yeah. Um, well with lilies and for um andrew so yeah. this is better. i was going to show a different one but since we're on the subject of dogs this is the reel that we all need to see you ready perfect go on instagram uh yep cool three two one cent Hey, and if there's anybody who ever wants to give Andrew suggestions, you can send it to him. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Uh, If you guys ever find a crazy video. All right, three. Wait, wait, where is it? Ah! Where is it? Wait, where is it? Stop. Sorry. Don't Lily. Oh, I thought you guys were watching. No. Where did you send it? Instagram. Just did individuals? You send it us? Yeah, it's individuals. Okay, all right, ready. One, two, three, go. It doesn't really matter. Okay, all right. Three, two, one, go. I already started it, so... (laughs) Oh, 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 oh I've seen this. This is a hog? No. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness, dude. That doesn't look real. It's from Twilight. Oh, my goodness. That would be so scary, dude. That's the size of, like, a smart car. It's, it's like everybody thinks, like, having a wolf would be cool until you realize yeah. how big just how are. big they really are. Dude, dude. My, my grandma found, um, when she, you know, she lives in Montana, she found a tiny little pup on the side of the road or wow. something. I can't remember the whole scenario, how she got him, but it turned out full wolf. Oh my gosh. Raised that thing and it became as fat as can be. And she called it shadow. And I remember growing up with it and no joke, my, my uncle would, you know, he would howl and he would, that, that dog would almost ear piercing howl. It was so stinking loud, but the thing was so lovable, but ginormous, just oh super, gosh. super big. That's cool. But super overweight. Crazy. I had a friend in high school who said that their Bible teacher at their school or whatever raised a wolf and every month uh, close to the moon, he would have to wrestle it and reestablish dominance as alpha. And I think that he was lying to I me don't now. That. <laughs> my, goodness. Um, my, my mom raised a wolf. Hey. hey. Ooh. Ooh. Wolf pack. Wolf pack, baby. I'm the alpha. I'm the leader. I'm the one that trusts. Trust. What is that? The TikTok thing. Do you remember that? No. Those kids. The I'm people, the leader. The furry. I'm the alpha. I'm the one to trust. Wolves. We're all on the problem. What? It's like anybody has no idea what this is. It's so, so weird. But it was like trendy like two years ago on yeah. TikTok. It was super funny. Weird. Cringy and funny. <laughs> Did you see that comment on one of the, they were like, somebody said, this is so ADD. I, this podcast is so ADD. I can barely stand it. And then someone says, I know I have ADD and I love it. <laughs> Did you hear someone calling Lily attractive? I've had a couple. You're not paying attention to them. A couple of them. What they say? You Lily, do that? Lily is so hot. She should have her own show. <laughs> and they said, Josh. My dog. I'm like, <laughs> I say easy. Stop. Easy. Hey, easy. Ray. Hey, stop it. She's a married woman. <laughs> I me. Just got Lily win a turtleneck next time with a mask on. Yeah. <laughs> I left my laptop here at the office, but I made everybody go look for it, like all over the planet, because I didn't know where I would left it. And Josh was like getting frustrated at me because I lose everything and forget everything. I said, you can't be smoking hot and have a good memory at the same time. <laughs> That's what I said. You got to pick and choose. That's what I always said. Am I, you know, that's what I always, that's what I tell you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I said, what does that mean? Cause I have a really great memory. <laughs> <laughs> I have like almost too good. <laughs> um, okay. Back to the aliens. <laughs> and we're back. Um, I saw a thing today about, did you see, I don't know when it was very little context that I have. Good. But balls, balls, <laughs> what? Buzz Aldrin, Buzz Aldrin, baby. Balls. I heard it. <laughs> I, I heard he did he like denounce or something. <laughs> Buzz Aldrin, one of them days, baby. Oh, Buzz Aldrin went to Antarctica. Okay, to explore. Got it. And He's an old guy. He is. He actually went to our, our chapel once. He did. Weird. Children. What an honor, you, by the way. We never saw, comment on that. Yeah. Dude, you saw Buzz Aldrin? We yeah. And greeted Buzz Aldrin. That is so stinking yeah. cool. I know. Pretty he, he didn't punch you whenever you told me that you didn't he didn't go to the moon? No, but that is the coolest video. <laughs> I I've love seen. Have video. you seen that? No. The dude's like, he's like, this guy went up to him and he's like, he Buzz Aldrin just came out of like some press conference or something, and the guy's like, You're a liar. Like you never went to the moon. And he's like, You're in fact, you're a coward. And Buzz Aldrin, being an old man, just goes, whap! <laughs> 
Dude, wow. punches the dude in the face. I saw it. Like, <gasps> now I'm convinced that we went to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a TikTok edit where it was like, there was like a tiny little rap beat behind it. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, you're a coward. You're a fake. You're a phony. And then he punches it and then like, it flips and it's like, boom, boom, and it's like, shows him clips of like walking on the moon. I'm like, this is kind of cool. Alex <laughs> Aldrin is the man. <laughs> USA. <laughs> but there's this theory out there that there is in fact a pyramid like would be the world's largest pyramid in Antarctica. Like and an old one. Wow. Yeah, and there's satellite images Whoa. to where it's so equal on the four sides. Like wow. The, and so supposedly that's what balls, Buzz all. Oh, no. <laughs> stop, everyone stop. Stop. Now I'm going to say the rest of the time. Yeah. Oh, I'm Buzz, pass out. <laughs> Buzz Aldrin. Yeah. He went there to explore it, yeah. right? Uh. While he was there. He had a heart attack. <gasps> Died? And he had to be airlifted out. Oh. And then this is the tweet on his way back oh to my the gosh. USA. <gasps> this is what he said. He said, we are all in danger. It is evil itself. No. That's legitimate? No, yes. that's AI. What are you talking yeah. about? <laughs> that's AI. What do you I mean love- that's AI? <laughs> that's what he tweeted, Lil. What do you mean? I don't know. I love that. Like that's Lil, why I'm bringing it up. I love that. Like the Balls fact that Balls Aldrin <laughs> tweeted, "We are all in grave danger. It is evil itself." Oh I love gosh. the fact that like Lily could be like walking outside to the car, and then like you just see like a big dent in the truck, and you're like, "What is this? What happened?" And you're like, "It's AI. Like, that's AI. That's AI." <laughs> that's he tweeted real. that. That's so scary. Yes. When was that? Do you know? Like the, no, the I don't okay. know. It gave because him a I did heart very attack. Minimal research. Well, I'm just asking. But, um, it could, in fact, be AI because yeah. of the lack of research I did. <laughs> but for now, it's fact. Um, do we know the history? I don't know the history of Antarctica. Like, was it always frozen over like that? Was very it always, chilly. Very chilly. Very, very, very cold. I think no. I've seen some Back stuff where they say there was, if you drill down far enough, you could see vegetation and all that, right? Listen, guys, we have we talked, talked about, about this on the podcast. <laughs> I know, but like, I'm like, what do scientists believe? Like, what is the... What's well, the they, actual... they think that it's been frozen for a, a That's good, what I'm saying. So, like, what's yeah. the, like, the, what do we believe? But they're, so... they're just now discovering that it did, in fact, used to have vegetation on it. That's crazy. Yeah. That's and crazy. There's, there's all these theories of, like, them finding monuments and stuff, but it's like, kind of at this point, who do you believe in anything? Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, the internet, because you can trust the internet because it's illegal to lie on the internet. That's true. And that's the thing. Yeah. God, kids, yeah. if you're listening to this, no, like, I know your parents seem trustworthy. <laughs> <laughs> But you, no, can, but always you can always trust, trust the, the internet, internet because you can't lie on the internet. That's illegal. You'll go to jail forever. Guys, if we... if That's why if we that can't lie true, on here. If we were true, that were true, we would be in maximum security right now. <laughs> we're not lying. I'm, just, not lying. I'm just saying yeah. stuff that, I'm, that we think is real. That and, I've seen that. I don't know if it's yeah. real or not. Yeah. No, that's the bit. That's what people don't get when they comment. It's like, we, we're not researching. <laughs> Do yeah. not use this as your factual And that's our podcast. shtick. Yeah. It's our shtick. This I, is, I this, is this, why, this is what sets us apart, is that it's like we're a bunch of friends sitting in a living room yeah. talking about what we saw at the end of the day. I, I, I explain this podcast yeah. to like people who have never seen it. I'm like, it's we were already having these like arguments and <laughs> fake yelling and um, debates and all these conspiracy theories. We're already, for so long, for many years, we're yeah. being explained in this podcast i mean this yeah. room but now we just have cameras in front of us yeah and so it's like and we're just having fun and you guys are having fun with us and now Hopefully. you get to call it work yeah, yeah. yeah exactly yeah fun i mean now, now I'll get paid. all those conversations that we've had that we forgot about or dude, like if things we, that, dude, if we put them on podcast oh man we'd be number one <laughs> number Show. one joe Show. rogan be yeah. shining our shoes <laughs> yeah <laughs> um there's still so many good stories yeah so excited for the future I'm going to take that explanation now because when I tell people about the podcast, I just say, it's nonsense. It's yeah. nonsense. No, it's just a bunch of, bunch of friends goofing off. Goofy goofy, goofers. goofy. Talking about balls That's from Aldrin. <laughs> balls Aldrin, baby. Um, I have one more thing unless you guys have something. No. I mean, I, I've, I've got plenty of stuff that I saved. I'm like, I'm like, oh, man, we could talk about this. Let me hear one thing. Okay. Let me I want to hear one thing. You, that can, you, got. you go off your, for yours first. Okay. Did you see that video of the double moon? What? Hey, but, yep. <laughs> <laughs> the Wait. double moon. Okay, hold on. I'm just going to pause this. It's a TikTok, and we're not going to play the audio because they use bad words. Bad words? But she filmed it in three different spots. <laughs> and she's like, what is going on? And it looks like there's two moons. See that? Do you see it? What time is this? At night. At night. I don't know. But you see this? That's crazy. Weird. This? 
Yeah. That's What's strange. up with that? Yeah, because I've seen like what? you've seen we've seen the like the sun and the moon out at the same time, but you never see them that close to one another. Let me say this too. Flat I thought Earth. I thought flat Earth was gonna die off like <laughs> so fast. It is picking up steam. <laughs> in the comments and that they're like, yeah, there's two moons. Yeah, the it's firmament like, says who? Yeah, it's like it's it's like picking up and like all these kids on. That's why TikTok is a little dangerous. That's why I need to like maybe take a little step back from all this alien stuff. But it's like people are so easily convinced of like the craziest stuff. Yeah, yeah. like flat Earth. But we eventually the Earth will. is not flat. But the thing is, Maybe you can, you're allowed to believe whatever you want as long as that you can believe it and then look into it. Yeah, research, re- it. research it. Don't like, just be a person. You never want to be a person that just says oh, this is the way I believe and I'm going to move on because I I did that. And, you know, like we learn things in high school and we're like this is the truth, and then we go to college and then you start you know you get married and you do all these things. You're like. Maybe that isn't the truth. You start questioning things. That's the point. But mm-hmm. what's what's the smart somewhere. way to say that? Like, listen to everything. Trust nothing with a grain of rice. With <laughs> 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 a grain of rice, trust everything. But what uh, I think it's Aristotle or somebody, one of the philosophers that says a life self um, that gone not without self evaluation is a life not worth living. Oh. And so, so you have okay. to always have to self-examine. You always yeah. have to look at your own beliefs and you know question them, confirm challenge them. everything, quick, challenge qu- everything. Quick Never question. listen to your parents. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> quick, <laughs> quick question for the two of you: How can you know that you know anything? Um, I can't. I think, therefore, I am. We can have a belief, but there's this, beliefs. Uh, listen, I have questioned this of like a lot of things, like even American history. Mm-hmm. It's like we live in America, so obviously we're probably going to be told the the good things about America and not the bad things. Yeah. And my, my light bulb of just like, Oh, that could be true was the fact that we had friends from England. And when I was talking to them about the revolutionary war, they're like, well, yeah, we never learned about that. Whoa. And I'm like, what? Yeah. That's what? nuts. What? Yeah. That's crazy. That was huge. Yeah. But that's even, why we have our independent. That's why we have America. But, you don't have to tell me about it. I, I've known about it forever. Uh, you, <laughs> you can think about England, though, and probably all of the wars and battles that they've had, you know, and that one was the most significant for us because it's what created our country. Yeah. So that's probably why we learned about it. But they're probably like, well, we had a war every other weekend. Yeah. It's I mean, also like talking about an ex-girlfriend. It's mm-hmm. like, yeah. yeah, we were in a relationship. It didn't work out. Well, yeah. like how it. little, because like I really thought growing up that we won like Vietnam War. Mm. And it's like we actually did not. Yeah, no. we just kind of like uh, we're, we're it, losing, yeah. so we're like, yeah, we're we're out. Good things so came out of it, lose, but not because but of like, the not because of like the actual war itself. But good things came out of it. Sure, negative things. There's consequences, but more nothing was nothing was a like accomplished. Yeah, like nothing was. Yeah, and that's and that's and what that's I'm what learning. Except for a lot of PTSD, a lot yeah. of PTSD, yeah, and a lot sure. of lives lost. Yeah, which stinks, man. Yeah. I, play, I played paintball with a Vietnam vet, uh, Vietnam vet a while ago, and he had a flashback in the middle of our game. Jeez! But instead of like causing him to you know like have a detrimental episode, he yelled, "I'm back in Nam," and then oh. ran at the. And like helped our team win. It like triggered like an alpha mentality, and it was oh the goodness. weirdest thing to witness. Yikes! I went. That's the guy you need on your paintball team. Right. Yeah. But, yeah. I think but he's on my cost. zombie apocalypse. No, but you list. went. You went and to the question. How do you? How can you know that you know anything? You went back to like like historical facts. But I was asking like on a deeper level. How do you know that the immediate reality we're in is actually a true reality? Because I can do this. <laughs> Yeah, I, I know that's real. real. Have you ever tripped out on that though? Like, no, how, I have. How it do freaks, you? I try not to think about stuff <laughs> I'm gonna, that deep. Like that's Come like on. that's all. Somebody, no, no. somebody did a meme where it's like if you like what happened if you like you died at the end of your life and then suddenly you woke up and someone took off like VR goggles. Oh and, like, yeah. So how was it? How was it? <laughs> You're You're like, like, no. <laughs> yeah. It was it's a uh, Nietzsche or Nietzsche nihilism? I always called myself like a Christian nihilist. Because it's like, how can you know that you know anything? You can't know. So to claim anything is to take a faith leap. So anyone who yeah, says yeah. they're faithless. That's why we trust in Jesus, baby. Yeah. I mean, everyone has faith in something, like anything, yeah. you know? like You can't prove that three seconds ago, this entire universe and the reality we're in wasn't created with a previous history and knowledge implanted in our brains. You that's like someone saying that. that, like, there's no, yeah. there's no, uh, there's no, uh, Holly, what is it? It's a t- 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 truth. It is a um, finite truth. It's a uh, absolute truth. It's mm-hmm. like there's no such thing as an absolute truth. I'm like, the fact that you just said that 
means that that's an absolute truth. It's like so, like yeah, absolutely sure. Yeah. So, did you ever, as a kid, like lay on like a trampoline and you're staring up at the sky and and it felt like a big dome, and you like felt like, what if I were to just like the yes. gravity reverse and you like fell that you're making way. me dizzy no. thinking about and it. then like you like go into space and then like you're like what is space and then you're like it's so big and yeah. then i go ah mom there's mom. everyone i not even as a kid there's still times where i'm like i was like looking up at the sky last night and i was like man this is just it's just wacky that we think this is just normal here's it's so here's, crazy. here's my challenge mm-hmm. in between this podcast and next podcast i want every every one of us and even you guys to go outside at night and look at the stars for an hour. Let's do it. Can we go look on the roof? Let's go yeah. on the roof. I'm because it, it just it brings you back, man. Yeah. It's like yeah. it, it. I feel like we get so caught up in our phones and like our daily lives. But look at the how vast yeah. everything is. Oh yeah. And how look at how the silly man, how dude. silly our little problems are. Yeah. Oh. We're, we're getting so deep. But I can still do this. Oh. Hey. And that's an absolute and truth. That's an absolute <laughs> truh. <laughs> Um, that's it. I had one thing. You want me to do my one thing? <laughs> yeah, or no? yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So this is uh, goes on to the AI conversation. So a lot of people are using Chat GBT for yes. their works and their life and everything like that. Some people are even using it as like a personal assistant. Mm. But a lot of people don't realize that Chat GBT and a lot of AI is, uh, it's not it's not a search engine. It's not like Google. Yeah, it's yeah. generating text based off of patterns and you know whatever and the information that it learns. So there's one lawyer started using chat GPT for legal filing. Oh no. And presenting in court. And the chat bot cited non-existent cases. It just made up. Ah! And so, like that's a dangerous thing to do. Oh my. Like, yeah, people don't realize that he's like, it's they, not, it's they not made look, up a scenario. It that's just makes so up funny. and it, it makes up, you know, case numbers and court cases like yeah. USA versus blank, Super blank. Super convincing. Like, oh yeah. my goodness. And it just creates things because that's what it, you're telling it to do. Create, yeah. tell me things like, yeah, create scenarios and patterns and stuff. And so it's just, uh, be careful. Wow. I learned this lesson this week actually, because I'm trying to, I was drafting up text to send to big companies to see if they'll sponsor our podcast. Cause we were number 37 on the comedy list. And I used chat to do chat, chat GPT to do it. And I typed in ninjas or butterflies thinking it was a search engine and then it would yeah. research our podcast, but it didn't, it made up content that we do. That's not true. It thinks that we like are into like butterflies and stuff like that. <laughs> Isn't that funny? And like karate. Yeah. But in our, in our, our AI, AI So that's programs, the beauty of our podcast is that AI is just like, I don't even know uh, what, I don't even, I can't even make anything up. I, <laughs> if I had a finger, I couldn't put it up my finger on it. Okay. <laughs> so we're, that's why we're different. <laughs> Absolutely. Woohoo! Yeah. Grain um, of salt, baby. Rice. That's all I got. That's all I got. Good job, guys. Good episode. Love anxious. you guys so much. I'm anxious. Oh, we have no. We have a oh, oh. gift. I even wrote literally it down. Sh- literally showed up an hour before the pod. So hey. thank you so all much. Right. Read that first. Absolutely. Because it I, I, I didn't Bobby open Bird. it. I didn't open it. See. Says, Thanks. Please open Says, the gift on the pod. Thank you. Exercising a little if it's bit. It's a of severed head. We're gonna be very upset. <laughs> all right. Okay. So read in an accent of your choice. Can you do it? I guess. No, you do. Okay, you, give you me an do. accent then. Um, do, do, do... Billy and Bobby. Something really racist. <laughs> <laughs> um, Irish. Irish. Hello, ninjas and butterflies. We love your podcast in the Sunday cool videos. You guys make us laugh so much. We have three siblings, Hutch, Ellie, and Brooks. So it is a nice outlet from all the commotion. We really appreciate all you do. We're from Boise, Idaho. Oh! <laughs> and we wanted you to share some candy made here <gasps> in Idaho. Hadley and Taylor Miller. P.S. We apologize to Andrew because there is milk in all of the candy. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> wow. Wow! We got Idaho Spud Bites. Hey, what? baby. And then we got... Hey, fun fact to the Miller family. I used to live in Idaho in Driggs. Teton Valley. Wow. Huckle- Huckleberry Gems. Huckleberry Gems. All right, and let's then, try it. And then let's Old try. Faithful. I love me some Huckleberry. Marshmallow cream, milk chocolate. 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 Listen. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh I, my gosh. Okay, listen, listen, bro, listen. listen. Hey, that was on bro. camera. Chill, chill. I we heard saw it. It, chill. it didn't hit her head. Everyone chill. Because she dodged it. Okay. Everyone calm down. Dude. We need I it. threw it with my left hand. Danny, come in here. So it should have been softer. It didn't hit me. That was funny, oh though. Gosh. I thought Idaho funny. didn't exist. What? I think. Ooh, it those are good. You never had a potato? You like coconut? Yeah, I like coconut. That's so good. Hold on, hold on. Idaho has coconut? Of course it do. Oh. It's native to them. That's, okay. What do you think a spud is? It's a coconut. 
It's a grab. Oh, man. See, the bad thing is you send it to a bunch of chocolate treats to Florida, and now they're all melted. Toss it. Okay, open. Huckleberry. Montana is really famous for huckleberries. Mm -hmm. It's probably just that region, though. Also, we've had multiple comments of how much people love us chewing into the microphones. This mm. is so good. It's very marshmallowy. You guys are the best. Woo. Thanks, Miller family. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Hey. So dope. We love you. Make sure to leave five stars on Spotify, Apple. Subscribe to our YouTube. We say that every week. But no joke, the reviews truly do help us move up in the rankings and get this shared with more people. So if you've subscribed, you've done all that, you've hit the bell, please go leave a review. Yeah! Because you are going to be reviewing uh, some of your favorite reviews soon. Yeah, we might we just, like, we just got to get all that. Yeah. Are we going to do like a two-hour episode for the one year? Ooh, we got to do something. Yeah. We got to do something big. We got to all come in with our own big list of stuff. I'm yeah. so excited. I can't wait. All right. I love you all. Love oh, you guys. Nice. Comment, comment what dog you would be and what comment do you think, or uh, what dog you think we would be. Yeah. Yeah. We have so many things that they're going to be commenting, but the more comments, the better, baby. That's right. We love comment getting to know y'all. Even if you don't usually comment something, do it. Yeah. You can yeah. say, blah, 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 You say, beep, beep, boop, boop, peep, peep, poop, poop. Yep. We're balls aldrin. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Love you guys. That Love is you. the end of the show. Stitches are butterflies. That is the end of the show. show. That's the end of, of our show. The Bye. end of our show. I don't Good pod, good pod. It we have just to say that fart sound oh for our gosh. videos. Yeah, that'd be good. We <laughs> finally just, captured we it. Boom. It's just a trigger. Remember Dude. that time you were starting to record every fart? Yeah. Like you wanted to start recording. That was every... the best sounding fart I've ever heard. I wish we could do Audio an instant wise. replay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>